Hello guys, it's your musical wolf, and today I'm going to review with you um, one of uh, Two Notes product. It's a uh, Lolit. Uh, it's like le preamp. So bonjour. Uh, so this is a box that you will get when you get the preamp. So we will open it together. So I opened it before, but like I want to show with you. You get here the manual, which okay, and then you have a protection foam, and then you will find the pedal and in this box you will get a power adapter so this is basically what you're going to get when you buy one it's cost around 250 euros so I don't know in US but in Europe it will cost around 250 euros anyway yeah <coughs> so this is the lead from two notes uh, so it's a preamp and uh, so you can't connect it to your cabin directly you need a power amp so what is this useful for you can use it as an extra like an effect a pedal effect in your for your amp or if you're going to record at home for example you can use this one because it has a di output so simply you have the preamp here and then it has a simulation for a power amp with a cabin simulation so you can connect it directly to your like sound card or to your uh, mixer and record uh, so <clears throat> I found that information it's really amazing so it's a tube preamp so uh, for recording I found it can be like wow so you don't need to buy an expensive amplifier you don't need to worry about uh, getting a dummy load or all this stuff you just have the preamp generate uh, amazing tube tones and then cabin simulation because generally if you're going to record if you can't use a cabin so you need to use a cabin uh, simulation and two notes they have their amazing cabin simulation one the torpedo cabin uh, like cabin sim cab m so uh, i discovered like i think you can put like some of the technology in this one so i just want to give it a try so it has one preamp and this is a question mark we'll go back to it later but just keep it in your mind it has only one preamp tube uh, it has two channel clean it channel with um, treble and bass and then you have a volume and gain control and then you have the lead channel which is like distortion so it has a uh, bass and mid and treble gain and volume and sweep it's to change the mid uh, frequency position it has here is a cold and hot function so basically if it's in cold so you have two channels a series to each other you have the clean one channel a and you have b the low lead channel if you press both of them together there will be two signals coming out from this one like not two different signals but let's say two sounds in the same signal the one from the clean channel and the one from the lead channel but if you make it in the hot mode and you press both of them you will see that both LEDs are lighting uh, so this means the signal go to the clean channel getting some gain and then goes to the lead channel so you can say it's like a boost for it so I found this swap like really amazing and all this just in one tube and then you have the input uh, you have uh, it has also an effects loop send send and return from the other side so uh, if you want to have a deal like to put a reverb for example you're going to play a solo so you need to add a reverb so you put send the return you put your uh, reverb pedal so how the signal goes goes from your guitar going to the preamp get to the effect loop and then go to the di output so you have a complete everything in your signal chain so i was like wow it has midi in and midi out so you can use midi controllers it has a um, headphones output and it has a dc power supply it can't work with battery so you must work with the power supply it's 12 volt dc and the adapter is supplied in this box and uh, they have the through which it means the in gets out directly without any processing so based on whatever the in it gets out so um, yeah one tube as my question mark so according to my knowledge which is not that great which is not that small so it's mid knowledge uh, to generate high gain sound you need at least two tubes so with one tube that put a question mark for me 
and that was exciting to see how it's going and I found it's really getting a high gain but this is what I discovered so uh, I will tell you what I discovered but let's first try it and make you hear for the sound and then we can discuss the sound after you hear it so I almost prepared everything beside me so here is a power adapter So, if you can check, here channel A, here channel B, channel A, uh, and both of them together. So, I'm now in a cold mood, now cold mood, now in a hot mood. So, in this hot mood, I can use just like as a boost for it or like overdrive for it, or like the tube screamer, for example, but like you will see. So, I'll keep it in the cold mood and I will adjust the equalizer just as a normal rhythm equalizer for example little bit bass around 2 o'clock triple the same mid around 11 o'clock and uh, fusion I'll put it in the middle sweep in the middle full gain and let's see the volume make it like at 9 o'clock and then we check and for the clean tone I will just leave it at 12 o'clock both bass and triple and uh, I will put the gain and the volume around nine o'clock and then we can see how to make it better sound and uh, here is a jack input for my guitar and here is the XLR cable I'm going directly from this one to my sound card so this is all what you need basically to start to play and to hear like distortion clean if you want to put some reverb or some extra pedals you can use send and return which i will not use it in the, in the demo here or the review so we just like here uh, this guy alone and you can have the option to speaker simulation on and off because if you take it for example to um <clears throat> i don't know but like if you want to switch it off because it has an output so basically the output is the same as a di output without speaker simulation so when you put it off it means you have two outputs so anyway i will put it on so that you hear the speaker simulation so basically you will hear the sound that you're going to be recorded if you just bought this one and you are ready to record the song a clean tone distortion and if you put in the hot in the hot mood you can like getting for some solos you're getting a little bit overdrive for solo but you just need to add a reverb it doesn't contain any reverb so if they add like a digital reverb with a pedal in the middle it will be amazing but anyway and I will use for this demo my Sterling guitar it's seven strings so I always say the seven strings it's can show how the distortion can go so because I'm using the camera from my laptop so maybe you will not see me while I'm playing but it's not about how I will play it's about how it will sound so I will close the mic so you can hear like an echo from the mic going to the speakers uh, and we'll just going to record directly from this one to the sound card to the laptop camera so I will switch off the mic
Yeah, so <clears throat> you heard about uh, how the sound of the of the pedal. So yeah, let's go back again. So I try to show to you everything, even putting both uh, channel and series and then parallel, so you can have an idea how what everything, the final settings I used. So the volume and the gain for the clinic channel before the clinic channel start to be crunch at about the gain around one o'clock and the volume in three o'clock. This is the sweet, the maximum sweet point I can get. More than that, start to be crunched with treble and bass was on 12 o'clock. I just increased the treble a little bit later and um, the sound volume is not really high from this pedal but it's okay uh, so when i found this only one tube and um that's really co not convinced me it's full tube preamp and they didn't try something it said it's full tube preamp or it's hybrid because what is written here for example let's check the manual on the front page it's written dual channel tube preamp so you expect it's a tube yes it's a tube it has one tube but it's not a full tube preamp uh, from the sound it's very clear for me it has some analog uh, preamp so I expect it has at least two op amp uh, which is like silicon or transistor or solid uh, preamp so it's like uh, not tube so I expect the tube it's only one tube and uh, even the gain even sorry the clean sound itself is not fully tube I can I can differentiate between them easily so I expect uh, that preamps are work in both channels and the tube it can be the first stage in both channel or it's just like in the middle or just maybe just for advertising to say wow you can have a preamp tube and it sound amazing and uh, but actually it's not a pre it's not a tube preamp it's hybrid or like yeah it's hybrid I, like it's not a complete silicon preamp it's hybrid so uh, I'm sorry uh, first of all this review and this demo is just personal opinion so I can be wrong you can like it you can say it's full tube you can hear from the sound just my personal opinion and this video is not sponsored by any company or it's a sponsor to be against any company so yeah that's my personal opinion so I, I love two notes uh, product I have already the torpedo cap sem from the products it's an amazing one and I will make a special like a special video to review it but I'm just waiting for some things to be done yeah so let's back to this product and at that night I think it's come with a sound uh, sound 3 or sound wall 3 software which it um, you can change some of the settings of the di so you can yeah that's why this week you can have a switch off for the cabin simulation and then you can get the set cap your cabin simulation from the software uh, but it will be only in your computer so you need to manage it how to send it from this software to your DAO recording and you can take it like to rehearsal or studio uh, take your you need to take your computer with you to get the sound finally from your computer not from your pedal board for example and uh, yeah that's why they have this speaker simulation off but the software is really amazing it also comes with a two notes torpedo the capsim that's why i'm aware by the software i didn't register this one because i'm not planning to keep it so for me this one it's a hybrid uh preamp tube is not a complete tube and uh, i can differentiate i can hear the sound of land tube uh gain or like land tube preamp so it's not the, the the one that i was looking for when i, I thought about it uh, I love how it looks like the design and the color. I love red color in general. So it's really cool one uh, It's around like half kilo and The size is a little bit big. It's like two or three pedals. Yeah, it can take like three normal pedals um, It I expect it can be smaller. I don't know what's inside. I didn't open it, but I expect there's a lot of empty spaces But yeah, maybe it's because of the tubes. You need some heat uh, to get out from it so yeah it's open from the sides here to the heat of the tube of the preamp tube can get out so it will not be overheated so yeah so uh, this is my opinion about the uh, uh, lead preamp uh, for me personally I will say it's a negative opinion I didn't like the sound um, it has a lot of specs like it's nice to have a like a gain if it was a complete 
to you preamp it will be amazing to have a clean and gain because the only one that i saw it was uh, the pivy uh, pereira or something and it has one tube preamp and i think it has also one power tube or there was no power tube anyway but i didn't like this one i'm not a pv fan so uh, yeah so this one i will say it's not matching me because uh, i love the tube sound so um, if you don't care it's it's a good product you have two channels uh, you can put it in your pedal board you can have like rhythm channel you can make it like for rhythm and for lead you can simply use this one and the clean channel is good i love the clean channel it's really sound nice it has some resonance in it so it's really cool clean channel which i will say most of the stuff you can make a good sound from for a clean channel but it's not easy to make an amazing clean channel sound so this one it's a good clean sound so i'm okay to practice by it and to play on it by it and uh, yeah so this is all about this uh, pedal today and if you get any questions related to the pedal you can write it below and i will reply i keep this pedal with me for like uh, almost two weeks i try to keep it in a good shape i didn't use it with my foot i always change it by my hand so i keep it clean and tight and when i finish i put it back so if someone else take it don't worry it's co considered as a brand in you yeah and uh, hopefully no one of you guys will get it anyway so yeah it's a uh, as i said it's a new it's in the market now since like two years as as i as i remember it was 2017 the first production and uh yeah i'm i'm sorry uh two notes audio engineering uh this product is not that what i was expecting from you i was expect complete tube or at least you should put it here it's dual channel tube hybrid preamp don't just put a tube it's kind of and honestly Okay, didn't say it's full tube, but we ex I expect it will be full tube when I found that. Otherwise, you should let it's hybrid. Anyway, so this is my personal opinion and request from you guys. And uh, you have amazing products, like as I said, the cap simulation, torpedo cap sim, or cap M, and uh, sound of fall. Is, it's, if you get it to the sound of fall, sound of fall, you can make a lot of different sounds. But uh, as I said, it, you, you just need to be connected to your computer all the time. So yeah uh, that's for today and uh, I will make another video uh, for this guy with a comparison with another uh, full tube preamp and uh, I will play more in both preamps so you can know the difference between a complete and hybrid system uh, I will record this video I expect today uh, so I will put the link of the other video in the description below uh, so you can hear this one with other preamp so you can know the difference between the two what's the difference between a complete tube preamp and hybrid system so thanks you thank you for watching if you like the video found it useful please hit like and subscribe to my channel i will always keep updating some reviews for products and making some covers originals will come soon but after the covers first so thank you for watching and see you guys again and au revoir